All right, what's up y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Um, today we're gonna be unboxing a paddleboard that I got in the mail from Free In SUP. I'll leave the link in the description um, if you wanna check them out below. But anyways, we're gonna be unboxing that and fishing, fly fishing from this paddleboard. So yeah, let's get into the unboxing of the of the board right now. Okay, so I just pulled it out of the, of the initial cardboard boxing. And let me first say, this thing is really well packed. It was kind of rough to get it out, but that just means they took extra time to pack it up. So that's always a good thing. And now we're gonna take it out of this box and get into the actual paddle board. So let's do that now. All right, so this is what we're looking like inside the box we got. I'm a carrying back for everything, so that's going to come really in handy when I need to trek it down to the creek to get into some skinny water. Just toss that over there. And then inside here, looks like we got our leash, or our, I don't know what you call this, but anyways, attaches the paddle board to your ankle, I think. Toss that back over there. And then I think this is the actual paddle board itself, along with some paddles and some other stuff. So. Anyways, let's get this unpacked and blown up. All right, so we just got everything out and let me say, this comes with a lot more stuff than I thought it did. Um, we got gadgets for everything in here, um, rod holders, a skeg, repair kit, even waterproof, the bag, and so I'm really excited to get this blown up to see what it looks like. Um, as you can see, got everything unpacked, so yeah, let's get it blown up and see what it looks like. Instructions, don't need that, can't be that hard, right? Let's get it blown up. All right, so I just got this thing laid out. Um, as you can kind of see below me, it's laid out here. So yeah, first first thoughts of it is it's super sturdy. Uh, I think it's made out of the same PVC material that my Sea Eagle raft is. So that really impresses me and I'm, I'm really excited to blow this up and see what it feels like, how sturdy it is, how rugged and durable it is. So yeah, anyways, um, let's get it blown up. All right, and before I blow this up, I'm gonna set a timer on my phone, and I'm gonna see how long it takes me to blow it up for my first time. Granted, it is my first time, so it's gonna take longer, but anyways, just to kind of give you a rough estimate of how long it would take you to set it up. So I'm gonna put a timer on my phone and get to it. Okay, so I got that thing blown up. Did not take very long. Was pretty hard with the hand pump. Like, as you can see, I'm pretty out of breath. So yeah, it was a little bit. I got 7.55 on the clock. That was with changing camera angles and stuff, so not that bad at all. Um, it is not, it's like inflated as you can see, but you're supposed to get to 15 to 18 PSI. Um, it's a little under that because I got it up to 15, and as I was taking out the, uh, the pump, I forgot to, I had the, oh, I don't know what you call it. The thing that lets out air, I had it twisted the wrong way, so a bunch of air came out. But it's still, still super hard. As you can see, still super sturdy. And it's about, at, I think, 10 PSI right now. So, yeah, still super good. Feels really good, really sturdy. It's reinforced with carbon fiber. And so, yeah, anyways, let's get it fully set up and get a better review of it. So I just got the 
the rod holders mounted behind me right there. And they're pretty easy to mount. They are a little weird, like if you look at this, um, these rod holders, they like go up like this. I'm not sure why. My other rod holders on my raft don't do that, but maybe that's just them, I'm not really sure. But anyways, it's looking really good. So um, hang with me while I mount the skeg and the other stuff, and yeah, see a finished product here in a few minutes. Gonna mount the skeg now. So yeah, let's get in there. Okay, so here it is all set up. Super pumped to try this out. Looks super stable. Um, really rugged. But as always, what you see on out of water is not always what it performs in the water. So I'm, so I'm gonna take it out fishing here in a few days. We've gotten a ton of rain this last week. So all the creeks are blown out. And so I might take it out to a lake, but I'd really like to um, take it out to a creek because that's kind of why I wanted this was to explore some skinny water. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see if we'll be able to get it out or not. But anyways, next time I'll see you, I'll pick up the camera and we'll be taking it out. So awesome. Thank you. All right, welcome back to another video. Today we're taking the free in SUP out and we're going to be doing some fly fishing for cutties, rainbows, and whatever else lives in this creek. Oh, it's actually a lake, but I found this creek and I can see some fish right here. So I'm just gonna take the paddleboard down. I got the GoPro rolling. And we're gonna see if we can't find a few fish. So anyways, I'm gonna put my phone down and get to fishing in the Black Hills of South Dakota. Here we go. Welcome back to another video. Today we're taking the free in SUP out. And we're gonna be doing some fly fishing for cutties, rainbows, whatever else is in this creek. Oh, it's actually a lake, but I found this creek and I can see some fish right here. So I'm just gonna take the paddleboard down. I got the GoPro rolling. And we're gonna see if we can't find a few fish. So anyways, I'm gonna put my phone down and get to fishing in the Black Hills of South Dakota. Here we go. Oh, missed one, missed one, first cast. Very first cast on this one. Lots, I missed one. No, 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 no. That's number two I missed. All right, here's the first fish. He ate that hopper. Saw him come up. Um, little cutty. Actually, I think it's a cut bow. So cool. Anyways, let's get a release on him. Go. All right, pretty little cutty. Here we go. There he goes.
All right, so we only got one out of that little creek. The shadows that these cast, uh, the power boards cast, just kind of spooked them a little easily. So we're gonna fish the main lake, see if we can find some risers. Last night they were rising a lot, so hopefully they'll do the same tonight. And yeah, just fish for them out here. So I'll keep the camera on and see, see what we can do. Okay, so that paddle board was really, really awesome. It, it handled the water really well, super sturdy. Just a great time. Was only able to get one fish out of on it. I missed three. Um, I was fishing a little squirmy worm. I know the forbidden fly, but I was fishing it underneath my leech. And every time I would set the hook, the I would break off. And I know it wasn't my knot because after the first one, I was like, all right, got to make sure I tied a good knot. I kept doing it. After two more times, I don't know what was up. So I'm just gonna check my, uh, might've been the hooks I tied them on is what I'm thinking. But anyways, yeah, super impressed with that SUP. Um, I'm gonna fish on it more tomorrow. So I'm not gonna do a whole review on it right now, but I'm gonna fish on it more tomorrow. But anyways, just, I absolutely loved it. So, um, so yeah, I'll pick up the camera tomorrow. Anyways, tight lines. All right, so as I'm editing this video right now, I realized I forgot to pick up the camera the following day to kind of give a review and final thoughts on the board. And in short, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was a super fun way to fish. Um, it's kind of a different way to fish and makes you make different casts and all these things, but it was so much fun. Absolutely loved it. The board was really nice. I was super impressed with the stability and speed I was able to get out of it. And especially for the price point, um, it was really nice. So all in all, absolutely loved the board. I would suggest if you all are looking for an inflatable paddle board um, to just maybe start get started in inflatable paddle boarding to check them out. And I'll leave um, an affiliate code down below if you guys want to check them out. If you do decide to get one, it'll help me out as well as y'all. So thank you so much and hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll have a lot more SCP videos and other fly fishing videos coming out. So. Thank you. Keep chasing big fish and big dreams.